I'm going to tell you the five things you should follow firmly to improve yourself as a software developer being a beginner. Hello everyone, I'm Kamran, welcome to my channel. If you are here for the first time, hit the subscribe button. Now we will discuss five points one by one you should follow to grow fast as a fresher web developer. First one is plan and practice. Everyone tells you to plan your learning, but what exactly you have to plan? So here I will tell you exactly what you have to plan. Plan what language you are going to start with, read about that language and read about different languages which is related to that language. For absolute beginners, it will be HTML, CSS, JavaScript. So these you have to include in your plan. And for those who know these languages for already, have to work on the JavaScript frameworks. Read about frameworks and read about pros and cons and try to learn the framework which is in demand and then make a plan around that. Plan number of hours you are going to put in each framework, each language and how much part of your day are you going to put on learning those languages of framework. So there are two different things. First you have to learn it theoretically, learn about how the language works and why it is used and then you have to plan the number of hours you are going to practice about it. Don't overdo it but keep a good pace. Second would be choose a mentor. So you are going to need a sensei to become a Hokage just a Naruto reference. So you will need a mentor who can guide you away and helps you out in bugs and error. So you will need someone who can constantly keep guiding you. So how to find such people? So there are coders who are experienced and are willingly become mentor to others, just like me. So you can take help from those coders and you can choose different platforms like LinkedIn, Quora to find one. Be good at talking and approach them to be your mentor. Ask them how they learn coding and use this learning to make out your own plan. Follow bloggers, YouTubers and Korans. Apart from mentor, you should follow other developers on different platforms like YouTube and Quora. You should constantly follow those developers because that will help you to know what exactly is in demand right now and what you should learn in your next step. Listening and reading them while you are in a daily commute or stuck in situation will definitely boost your learning. Indirectly, their experience and learning will help you to decrease your learning time and learn more about languages and frameworks. That reminds me, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit it now for a good tips like this. Fourth point will be make public projects. So when you start learning any languages or framework, you will definitely make small projects and surely it will not be 100% good because you are a beginner. But that's not a problem. The whole point is that you should make sure that you share your project, whatever it may be, with others so that you can get a better feedback and your lagging points from someone else. Because as a coder, you will never find your own negative points and some other view or some other eye can catch that better. So never stop yourself from sharing your small codes and projects with others. Any feedback or advice will help you grow on your own ability. So unless you share it, you will not get the feedback. So for that, make a public git repos and share with everyone to have a look even if you have done something small. Fifth point will be freelance for free. So as a beginner, you will say who will take you as a freelancer. And answer is that those who want their work to be done free. So there will always be people who will be looking for a free work to be done. Take small projects from startups, NGOs and work on them and that will help both of you. For example, if you are working on HTML, CSS or any UI framework as a beginner, you can make free templates and make them available free to others. In that way, you will experience actual project and have a good hands-on on the live projects. So basic point over here is if you are going to provide something for free then it will help others also to get small projects and it will help you to get some experience so i believe if you follow these five pointers as a fresher this will help you grow exponentially as a web developer so make the list of these five points and stick it to your desk all the best for your fresher experience and don't forget to like the video happy coding see you in the next video